the white man brought strange things to the Apache people. But nothing so strange as a box that could capture a face and put it on paper. They call this box the Devil Eye. And to escape its terrifying witchcraft, they would lash out and kill. found nothing. There is no sign of the boy. The boy covers his trail well, Hatego. Even my greatest hunter cannot find him. You have trained him well. I will teach him more. I will teach him respect. Do not be hard on him. Tania means no wrong. Is it right that he leaves his stronghold without asking? He only tries to prove himself. By staying away three days? He wishes only to be great in your eyes. So he hunts for game when game is scarce. When even his father cannot find it. I have told Cochise there is no game. The white men have driven the game from our land. This is what the white eyes leave us to hunt. The Apaches have become killers of rabbits. Hateko speaks with fire because he cannot find the boy. Does Cochise tell me not to have the feelings of a father? I tell you I am a father too. Your son is like my own, Hateko. All the young ones mean much to me. They're always on my thoughts. They will live. And we will live on through them. Do not worry. The boy will return. Place, Jeffords. <laughs> yeah, that's the last of them. I got to print it off for every blasted plate I made on the way up here from Tucson. Well, it's pretty late. Did you have to do them all tonight? Well, mister, when I got plates to print, I'm like a spinster lady with a new man in town. I can't wait. <laughs> hey, that come out real good, didn't it? Even don't I get nothing else, that picture of yours is going to pay my expenses. How? Oh, ain't you heard? Well, you're kind of a legend. You know what they're saying about you back east? You're part Apache, part grizzly bear, and part miracle man. <laughs> I wish they were right. Oh, this picture of you will sell like lemonade on the 4th of July. I'm going to print it with a matching picture of Cochise. If you get one of Cochise. Well, that's why you're taking me up there, ain't it? You said you wanted some Apache pictures. Uh, it's only fair to warn you. The Apaches are proud people. And they're touchy if they get the feeling you're pushing them. And they've never seen a camera before. What are you saying? We shouldn't go? Well, you're not under the gun. If you want to pull out... Oh, pull out! No, I want them pictures worse than you do. I'm going to make Matt Brady turn green. <laughs> well, get an early start. Can't figure much speed out of that mule of yours. Oh, Emmy, she's fast enough. She's just a little overweight. You know what a fellow down in Tucson told me? <laughs> he said, if I didn't keep a sharp eye on her, she'd end up steaks and chops in some Apache's belly. <laughs> Is that true, Jeffords? They eat things like that? Well, they tell me people in France eat snails.
brought you west? What brung you? <laughs> me, I couldn't settle down neither. Uh, hand me that jug, would you? That's my silver nitrate. Can't leave it here. Couldn't make no plates without it. No, sir. That weren't no life for me, making pictures of fat old ladies in St. Louis. So me and Emmy, we just moseyed west. My luck. And mine. Do I ever get to see them Apaches? You'll see them. Well, when? There ain't nothing in this country but snakes and rabbits. <laughs> Almost nothing. We're just announcing our arrival. <laughs> Stay right here, Parker. I want to talk to Cochise. My scouts have told me of this bearded one. How he puts a magic box on three legs and points the big eye at the land. That is his work. It is called photography. I have not heard this word. It is from an ancient tongue. It means to write with light. I want him to write about the Chiricahuas. You have a reason? My people in the East have many wrong thoughts. They hear the name Apache only with hate. They think he lies and steals and turns his guns against women and children. This is Geronimo, not Cochise. The noise of shooting is loud. It is only of Geronimo they hear. You think the bearded one's writings will change all this? Well, it might help. His writing is powerful. It will bring Cochise and his people to my people. They will see the truth for themselves. He writes pictures like this. I have seen something of this before. The picture writings of the old people on the walls of their caves. It has been handed down to us by our ancestors. When a man makes the image of a face of another man, he has power over that man. The bearded one who puts your face here has trapped your spirit. No harm can come to me. If this should fall in the hands of an enemy, he could destroy you. I do not fear this. I bring the picture as a gift. You would put your life in my hand? My life has been in your hand many times. <laughs> What happened? Oh, I just started to show them the prints from last night. I will tell Cochise why there is no game. This one has turned the devil eye on our land and drawn its spirit into the box. That's plain nonsense. I just took some pictures of the country. Cochise, I would like to tell your people about the camera. Tania! It is a young one. This is why he has not returned. This is why he left no signs. The bearded devil! has stolen his spirit. But you said you saw no Apaches. Oh, well, just the boy. He come down to the wagon. When? A couple of days ago. Where? Well, I don't know. This country's all new. Cochise, making the picture did not make the boy disappear. Bearded one wrote my face with light. You can see I am still here. This is strange magic. Oh, it's just a picture. I say if it's going to cause such a ruckus, why don't we just get rid of it? Come on, Parker! Oh. How a friend of a brother is welcomed in your camp? Is this a friend who destroys the spirit of a young one? Making the picture cannot harm the boy. If it can, I will give my life for his. You have my picture. Let Cochise destroy it. No. It is a trick. Cochise no longer thinks of his people. Cochise only thinks of his white brother. You will leave us. Can you make another picture of the boy? Yeah, the plate's right in the wagon. 
Cochise. The bearded one acted foolishly. But he can make another picture riding the boy if you will let us go to his wagon. You will give me your word he will return. You have my word. Then he may go now. Shikasei. The Pico's blood is hot with anger and grief. The bearded one must restore the young boy's spirit. He will. I just don't understand the fuss. I can make a dozen of them, Prince. We only need one. But we need it. We almost down? Almost. Fuck. Boxes are pretty thick. Might hold the heat out. Now the heat's gonna hold us out. Wish I could get my hands on them sneaking savages. Jeffers! If you're just playing loco, you can't go in there. Jeffers, get out of there. Come on, get. Could be all right. Wood ain't burned all the way through. There's your plate. Them pieces ain't gonna do me no good. But them heathen one is a whole picture, and I can't give them no whole picture. Maybe we can give them the boy instead. I've got a hunch. I think I know where you took this picture. Maybe the boy is still around there somewhere. Well, in a thousand miles of open country? Well, you hunt for him. I'm pulling out. You'll never make it, Parker. Your only chance is to stay with me. Mr. Ain't You Heard, this here partnership is closed. I promised Cochise you'd come back. Well, you promised him, I didn't. I like my scalp setting right where it is. You'll never even make it to the agency, Parker. Now stop being a fool. Mister, stand away from that horse. Remember, I've been through a war. I ain't afraid to see a man die. But he thinks you have. Hold still. Only a flesh wound. Might have been a lot worse. Still want to go it alone? I guess this here partnership's open again. Yeah. Tie it up and we'll get started. So Taco speak to me with a gun? This gun speaks only to the bearded devil. He has done nothing to harm you. Stolen the spirit of my son. And now he tries to run away. He tries only to help me find your son. Forteca wishes he can come with us. Sure. I'll know the place. Do I ever see it again? He must be around there somewhere. I will go with you. But if you speak crooked, Oteco! Oteco! I would speak with you.
place, all right. You're sure? I bet dollars against a stack of pancakes. Let's have a look. No. Why not? We do not go in there. This place is bad. Evil ghosts live there. You leave me in so they can steal my strength. And let Hoteko wait. We will go without him. So that he can escape me? No. Hoteko! They tried to go in the Arroyo Diablo. We just want to look for the boy. Not here. The Arroyo Diablo is forbidden. My people do not come to this place. Sometimes a boy may go where a man will not. Well, sure, I come up here with him. I needed water and he showed me a spring. It is another place. There is no spring here. Well, I tell you, I saw it. He lies. The child of the water took the spring away. There's been a bad name on this place for many harvests. Well, I say there's a spring and I can prove it. You don't have to take my word for it. I made a picture of it. Huh. I say pictures don't lie. Cochise knows as well as I. The spring may leave a place and then come back again. I believe there is now a spring in the arroyo again. I believe the boy might be there. My brother has put his spirit in my hand. I trust him with mine. Signs are not fresh. I think two days. But he was here. He's been following those deer tracks. What I said, it's a spring. It's right up ahead. much he ain't. That boy needs a doctor. Got to get him to Tucson. No! Only the bearded one touches him. He put this on my son. Now let his magic break the curse. The young one needs a doctor. I speak as your chief. I speak as a father. To me? Even to Cochise. The young one's life I will kill. Listen, Otego. The boy will die unless... He will live. live. The bearded one dies, too. He's a real clawed up. Infection set in. You might stand a chance, could we get him to a doctor? Out here like this, without no medicine? Wait a minute. He had a photographer with us during the war. There was nothing else. He used some kind of chemical on one of the wounded. Nitrate or silver? Jefford, you got a head like a fox. Oh, well, now look, I gotta get to my mule. He goes to get his magic. Let him pass. Clean out the infection? No. White devil tries to.
I'll wait until the bearded one is finished. I speak as your chief. You will make the boy live. Done, Hoteko. Go to him. I speak of the father. Father, I found the spring. And I found the deer. I have seen them, my son. When you are strong, we will return and hunt them together. The first we must find the lion. He has my arrow in it. I must not lose it. You have not lost it. You found your lion behind those racks. He had crawled there to die. I have said, but Taiko teaches well. I think he learns well, too. Take your son. You have restored both the boy and the deer to us, and have taught us that the child of the water is no longer angry with this place. You will always be welcome at the stronghold. He just paid you a great compliment, Parker. You'll get your pictures now. Pictures? Of course, you still want them, don't you? Oh, well, I guess, but let's make it fast. All of a sudden, I got me a hankering for them fat old ladies in St. Louis. <laughs>